Hello everyone and welcome to the I Productions. In this video tutorial, we are going to create this amazing scene on 3D Studio Max. So let's get it started. I have a 3D Studio Max and I'm going to go to the plane and I will draw a plane from the top viewport. And I'm going to make uh, somehow 20 feet by 20 feet uh, its width and length. Suppose this is my ground. But one more thing that as you have already seen in this video that it was the surface was totally rough. So I have to increase the segments 100 by 100 because uh, and the surface is totally rough and uh, when you increase the segment so we have a lot of opportunity to make it rough i'm going to add a modifier which is called noise and uh, after fractal i will increase the strength from x y and z so as you can see on your screen that this is actually getting a rough surface it was uh, plain but now it is rough but it's too much rough it looks like like uh, ocean water which is i don't want so i'm going to decrease some segments 80 segments and length and width and also decrease the value of noise and increase the value of scale a scale has a type of that it will increase the radius or size of the rough i'm going to go to the camera and place target camera next step from the top viewport, I will apply this and just go to the camera and select camera one. It means that your camera is activated. So just set your camera according to your scene, your position. But uh, when you get to know this, uh, how your scene will look like in your render or how, man, how much area is actually in the renders for that purpose, go to the render settings select very sorry skin line render and give your width and height of your frame i have give hd frame press shift f so you can see this region render it means this part of your scene will come in the render only this part no extra no cutting so i'm go to the gonna go to the aec extended select foliage and select banyan tree and just click on your viewport so it will already apply your next step has to select its position and i'm going to scale up the size of your tree because the tree is not a little plant definitely we have to increase the size of your trees so this is my actual frame scene here i want my tree with my floor or with my surface so let's see the render till now we have made this scene okay I will apply mesh smooth on my surface because the surface is was sharp now it's smooth <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the material editor select a standard material standard legacy and just go to the bitmap and i will apply my texture on my surface which is my seamless beach sands texture so it is something like this it's not good so i will have to apply a modifier which is called uvw map i will find uvw map here it is so we need some repetition of your of the texture so i'm going to repeat the texture it's like a sand or it's like a desert okay and it in degrees more values two by two feet okay i think now it's look like okay okay i have a next step that there is no depth in it so i'm going to go to the 
maps apply bump map here and I will call the same texture in bump map so it now it looks like a sand or it looks like a stone so let's see the render so we have our proper surface of desert like this all right this time i will have to go to the light standard light and target direct light so i will apply my light from front viewport from the left side when you do this so let's see the render but before that just need to adjust light something like this okay i'll take the render so i will not find anything totally a dark surface the reason is that uh, if i see it in high quality renders so it's also a dark so the main reason behind the darkness that it's a diameter of your light directional parameter you will have to increase the fall of n hotspot b so i will increase my hotspot beam you can see there's a beautiful lighting shadows is are actually creating with the trees and i will apply fall off as well that how much light can go through to the scene now it will be appear with the effect of lights so you can see the desert the shadow of the tree but unfortunately there's a, these are the black lines on the corner that means we have to increase fall off more so I'm going to increase fall off some more. Suppose I'm going to increase 20%. It's too much. Okay. I think we already need to set them. So let's see the render. How much fall off can take over my scene with the lightings? I think this, this is okay. All right then. So uh, once again, I will take duplicate of my trees by holding shift key and uh, just set this tree and scale it down the size of this tree. Okay. I'm going to take another duplicate just to fulfill the scene this is not a mandatory this is not a requirement i'm just trying to fulfill the scene that's why i'm uh, using them okay i'm going to go to the foliage once again and this time i will select my society garlic plant and i will apply this plant in front of my main tree and scale up the size something like this and just uh, give them a suitable position all right then uh, so now it's actually adjusting somehow you will have to play with some positions you will have to play with some scale you will have to play with some sizes that not every thing now i will import my 3d model which is called elephant and you can get the link in the description easily so this is my 3d model of elephant I'm gonna scale down the size of my elephant and I will set him in my scene like this in front of camera here it is so just need to adjust their size that how it will look like uh, so I'll go to the perspective view and I will see this footprints on the beat on the sand and uh, adjusting its position as well and I will apply the texture of the elephant which I have already downloaded same standard legacy material go to the bitmap material and I will call my this texture so I will copy the path here and I will paste the path and then I will find my elephant texture when I will select them and assign them so elephant will going to appear with its natural skin. So 
So now you will have to adjust the elephant properly in the scene. I'm going to take another duplicate of the elephant to show its baby elephant too. That means uh, mother elephant and the son or baby elephant both are in this scene. All right, so let's take a look of the render, how it will look like. It is a little bit heavy, so don't worry about that. Uh, because in 3D Studio Max, plants, lights, reflections, and many of the things, normally they are heavy. But it's not a bad thing. So don't worry about this. It's in dark, so I'm gonna adjust the size, sorry, adjust the position of baby elephant in front of uh, his mother. Now the time of lighting. Just go to the shadow map and uh, after that go to the multipliers which is 4 has to be 4 and make some color of lights has to be blue a little bit blue not too much blue I think this is this is enough okay so select light once again and this time you will have to decrease the amount of your blue color i think this is okay i'll go to the atmosphere effect which is most important effect uh, and i will add here volume light when you add volume light so it will automatically add in the environment so go to the environment press 8 and when you will go to the environment so you can easily find volume light so come down and you will see these options of volume light. But before that, just take a render to see the output that how it will affect. And when I see this render, so it is totally white. That means uh, volume light is too much high. And uh, I'm not able to see what is in the scene just because just on the floor. So I'm going to select the light and uh, uh, just trying to adjust, decrease the amount of density, which is two, and take the look. Take a look. Let's see. It is still white. I don't want this. So I'm going to decrease more amount of density. Suppose 0 0.2. Okay. I can see somehow tree in it. I can see somehow but not too much and it's still it's too much so what we are going to do I'm just gonna go to the select light and decrease the multiplier of lighting of 1% and adjust your shadows decrease more density value from 0 0.008 and now it will look like uh, let's see I hope it will take some time but the result will be good that is this is good so somehow just try to adjust fall off more decrease and also density has to be decreased 0 0.05 uh, let's see the render so i can see a proper depth proper lighting which is actually cutting throughout this so just decrease multiplier more 0 0.5 and let's see the main render So guys, as you can see, the light is coming through the tree, which is actually crossing the tree. I hope, I hope you will love this tutorial. You like this, you have learned a lot. If you like this, so subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you.